four years since your last recording, yeah. Hydra. Then uh, lots of touring, uh, but what have you? Why it took you so long to to make another record, which forthcoming album Resist uh, will be in shops uh, at December? Yes. Yes, that's true. It's almost five years. Oh, it took me a long time because of several reasons. Um, we had a heavy touring schedule uh, with with Hydra. We toured a long time, and we've been together as a band f for such ages. And so. Um, When I came back, I didn't have any inspiration. So, and there uh, was a lot of things happening in my uh, personal life. So, all that came together, and I just couldn't write music. I was just very much blocked, and um, needed time for myself to discover if I still wanted to do uh, uh, the touring and also writing music for Wooden Station. If I still wanted to be in the band, and um, because I didn't it didn't bring me any joy at that time. Uh, just made me. F I was just not in a very good place at that time. So, but now I'm feeling a bit, be a lot better actually. And um, the thing is that uh, the the strange thing is that I couldn't write because I didn't feel the music, didn't know where to go, and not just me. Also, the guys that I work with found it very difficult to write forward invitation because we didn't have any inspiration. So I think I was not just me, but I had a lot of other issues <laughs> besides not being able to write. So. Um, that's why it took a long time, and when I did start writing again, I started. To, I wrote different kind of music. I wrote uh, sing a song, wrong, <laughs> right? Sing a songwriter kind of songs, and that's not really with invitation material. So I needed to get that out of my way, and so I made it. I made a solo album in between, and when it did start again, when I did feel the songs coming back again to us, and the inspiration and everything, we wrote this album and recorded it in one year. So like last summer until this summer, we recorded it and wrote the songs and produced everything. Is it a game changer, the Resist album for you? Uh, for me it is. Uh, a game changer, and I, I think it's still, you can still hear it's us, but it's, I think um, we've never sounded this before because it's a groovy album. It has a lot of urban sounds in it. Um, it's maybe a little bit less symphonic, but it's still a lot of, uh, it has a lot of, uh, well, it has, it has metal and it has rock, you know, still, but it's more like less symphonic maybe. Maybe it's, we, we are symphonic on this album, but not everywhere in every song, but in certain places where it's beautiful and where it has a purpose. Yeah, uh, some people may, may say that Within Temptation is a symphonic rock or gothic yeah. metal or something yeah. like this. Yeah. For me, it's the best band ever, which is making a fairy tailing rock, something like this. Okay. So. Yeah, I think it's now a little bit instead of fairy tale, maybe it's more symphonic and more more futuristic. So it has a different feel to it now. Yeah. Yeah. The next question ah about the the Netherlands because the country gave us go fest. <laughs> I don't know if they're still alive. The Gathering with Anneke, you know yeah, each other course, very well, course, and Within yeah. Temptation. But these two other bands are not existing anymore, yeah. and the Within Temptation is still alive. So yeah. the key to immortality. Where do where do you found it? I don't know if we're immort immortal, but <laughs> 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 but uh, the thing is, I, I don't know. I think um, I think it's I, I don't I can't speak for other bands why they stopped. But I don't know why they stopped. Uh, but for us, it's always been uh, a challenge to find a new direction musically and also have find new inspiration. And if you find it, you find motivation and and the energy and love uh, to put time and energy into to write new songs. But if you don't know which direction to go, then it just dries up. We always want to renew ourselves, and if we're not able to, then we feel like the music's not alive anymore, the band is not going forward anymore. We, we always want to have this forward line going up. Don't want to go down. <laughs> Don't want to be the same all the time. Which yes. is okay for some bands, but because they like to make the same record more or less, or same style every time, and we want to change our style a little bit every time. Can it be the last album, or maybe you feel the energy to play for more than 20 years? Uh, well, I don't know about 20 years, but you know, we did find a, a new love for writing music again, and this is uh, a different kind of wood imitation than in the past, but not that much different. So it's 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 different, and still it's still us, but in a, in a different I don't know, in a different musical direction more or less, but still very. A a cinematic and still very epic in a way, but then, yeah, but a different sound to it, a different flavor. But I think, um, so we have found a new road and maybe we can um, 
maintain energy from that but we only look one album ahead so we don't know you know i like to play now i love it and i'm living in the here and now and what i'm gonna do in three years i don't know yet yeah, of course um the single from the uh the first single is the recording yes and yeah. you, you've played with the leader of the from from the papa roach yeah, so yeah. tell me a, a little bit about the the, the, the cooperation uh, with this guy and uh, why you have destroyed such a beautiful spacecraft in the, in the video <laughs> I was very angry. <laughs> well, no, the, 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 the spaceships, everything is, of course, symbolic. But yeah. um, we met uh, Jacob, actually, um, in uh, Gaspop in the, uh, Belgium, the big uh, metal festival. Mm -hmm. And we were in, uh, backstage next to each other. And uh, we bumped into each other and I we start get it, got into conversation and I really liked him. I always, always liked the band already. And uh, it was really nice meeting him because we never met before. And he knew the band as well, but we never had any conversation. Like, like in the past that I did with Tarja, mm -hmm. we never met before either. And, and of course I knew t uh, Nightwish, but I never talked to anyone, not with her anyway. So this, it was nice. Sometimes you play, play on the same festivals, but it's strange that you never meet the bands you really like. So it's, uh, but it was funny. So we got into a conversation, talked about about arts and stuff, and we, yeah, just uh, had a really nice conversation. Yeah, I mean, but the whole, whole album, uh, the, the sound is beautiful, really. I, I really enjoyed. Uh, about the resistance and the resist uh, yeah. for. All of my life, I hear from the musicians I I, I should resist. If Max Cavalera said to me 20 years ago, "Refuse, yeah, resist," course, yeah. and so on. So why should I resist right now? Against whom? Well, of course, I think when somebody says tells you like Max Cavalera, of course, had his own things that he wanted wanted you wanted you to be aware of and fight for maybe or himself. But uh, I think everybody has their own issues in life, and but. What we wanted to say with this album was more like we were very much inspired by the digital age that we're living now in on the internet and but also so uh, it's more like um, that we are always trackable and traceable at every time of the day and that concerns me in a way especially because of the fact that uh, we don't know who's on the other end of the computers like is it a company or is it a government uh, it's not the political declaration yes a bit a I bit a little bit but also to companies like big companies they're they're having so much power nowadays it's it's also dangerous that they only they always try to box us in to a certain you know they want to they say they want to um they, 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 all the algorithms are based on like, okay, what, what are your interests? And okay, then you need to see this, this, and this, and this. But maybe I want to see something different than the algorithms. And I hate the fact that I'm caved into what they think I'm supposed to see. If it's news or if it's music or when I buy something on Amazon, for instance, it's strange that I still get like a year after the same kind of uh, information oh, yes. about a certain product that I bought with them. If it's music, like for instance, if I'm a young kid and I want to know about metal music and I think, oh, Metallica, Metallica, for instance, eh? then you get Megadeth, you get uh, pff, everything in that direction, but I don't get to see young kids making maybe similar music or, you know, I want to see everything. I want to see everything, not, not just the things that they think they can sell or just or, are already big. I want to see everything. I want to go dig in. And of course, you have related artists and stuff with Spotify as well. But I want to see I want to see bigger pictures. And how do I get those? How do I get how do I discover new bands? It's difficult nowadays. So that's something that I hate and I I really don't like, and and I think also um, with 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 technology is like um, with news feeds for instance. If I um, if I go into the internet and I go to certain websites where there is news, I re read certain articles, and then when my telephone shuts down and I open up again, I get p uh, messages about subjects I already read about, and I get new information about it. But I don't I only see uh, one political view. Of course, I have one political view, of course, and I would like to hear more different things. I would like to hear somebody who's uh, totally uh, right-winged, and I would like to hear somebody who's totally left-wing, so I can make up my own mind about what I think is right or not right, because I think both might have some truth to the story. And, and if people are only just projecting on what they want to hear, they're never going to see a bigger picture and everybody's story. I think it's dangerous in a way. 
So that's, I think that people should be more critical about how they use the internet and also what people already know about you. When you go on our site and you go to williamstation.com, you can see, we can see, and you can see yourself, we put it express, uh, a statement like, okay, you're on this address, we can see you. We can see so much about you. And I don't think that people realize well, how much you can see from a person when they log in. And I think that's, that's something that you th should think about. <laughs>